All right, guys, got an unboxing here from Trifecta Watches. Link in the description. Big thanks to Jake for sending this stuff over. Can always use these pens. Uh, I do prefer these about this size. This is the pen I've been using. So uh, I don't know who actually makes it, but it's a pretty good pen. And this one's pretty good too. So I'll use that. And also sent over a nice Longines hat. So I'll add that to my hat collection. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let's dig into these watches. These are in what are called in the industry, they're called coffins. This is typically how watches are sent to the authorized dealers, and then the boxes are sent separately. So then when they package them up, they take them out of these and inspect them and everything and then put them in the case. So when you buy them, it comes in the full retail case. Um, this is just how they're done for like size constraints and stuff like that. So don't freak out. This is not how you would get your watch if you were to pick one up from uh, Trifecta or any other authorized dealer, honestly. Um, I can figure out, there we go. So uh, let's dig into these, shall we? This is a Tissot chronograph. Very cool looking watch. I picked these out. I went through the website and picked them out. Uh, just under $2,000 on this guy. I forget what this one's called, but check out the movement. We have a nice display case back here. And it is a manual wind. So something a little bit different. I'll check with Jake. I don't think he'll care, but I definitely want to peel that uh, plastic off and show you guys the movement. We have quick release spring bars on this guy. And how cool is it that Tissot is offering? This is not a big watch either. This is like, check this out. This is actually a nice size chronograph. So if you're in the market for like a Swiss chronograph that isn't too big and it's different than what everyone else is doing, it's not cliche, this right here is the one you want to go for, I'm telling you. It is a very cool looking watch. Now let's open up the next one here. This guy here. I gotta make sure I open up the right side. It is not the right side, this is the right side. Oh, it's uh, got a little bit of tape there. So this one here is a Citizen, and oddly enough, just randomly, I have a JDM variant that is a little bit different, um, but check that out. So the JDM one, this one here, I think it's a PMD or something like that, um, has the day and the date, whereas this one's a US release because it's at the authorized dealer of a Trifecta. Um, pretty similar though, but you can get it on a regular. So only five seventy five for this guy. Really cool looking watch. Super legible. Has the uh, low battery indicator. You can see it's double ticking. So we'll get this guy charged up. Studio lights will pretty much charge it up, but uh, we'll do more even later. All right, let's dig into this guy. I'm always super cautious when opening up these coffins because I don't want to like. I'm worried that I'm going to be a Neanderthal and have like the watch go flying across the room or something. So I try to avoid that scenario the best I can. So this one here, again, this is one that I've been wanting to see for a while. Just haven't had the opportunity to get it until now. Um, I have a sub collection of Destro watches. This one's also a Destro watch. This is the Hamilton X Wind. So again, I'll have a little bit of plastic on here. I got to peel off, I'm sure. Jake won't care about that. But man, talk about a statement piece. It is a little bit larger. You have all these sub crowns going on and everything, but this is a really cool watch. And it's squeaky, which that'll go away over time. It'll break in. It's not a big deal. Don't just careful. Okay. Um, next up, let's open up this guy. Maybe. Shall we? I was excited to see this one. This is kind of one that I was um, wondering why I hadn't seen a whole lot of detail on. I mean, I'm sure there's videos out there on it, but look at that. Is that not beautiful? Talk about a safe, I say safe. It's black dial, black bezel, GMT, Longines, and very classic, clean look and size to it. Excellent bracelet and clasp here. You have on the fly quick adjust. This is a lot of watch for the money for sure. It is 
uh, just under the $3,000 price point, probably closer to the twenty-five dollars if you can negotiate a discount. But check that thing out on wrist. That is such a killer watch. You have the dive bezel with the GMT function, um, and it is just a perfect size. Nice weight to it as well. Let's check the bezel action. Yep, 120 click. Not the best 120 click I felt, but it's it performs fine. So can't wait to do the full video on that guy. And then the last one from this selection of watches is this guy. Another Tissot wrapped up because they're worried that I'm going to damage it. it. took the case. I didn't do that. That plastic did that, Jake. It just peeled it right off. I mean, I was going to do it anyway, but I was going to ask you first. But check out that beautiful dial. It is a, what does that say? Chronometer. So super legible on that. But check out those markers. They stick out a little bit from the dial. Very good, clean looking watch. Love the pairing of the gray strap with that. Kind of salmon dialed. And a nice display case back. What's the price point on this guy? Roughly $800. So really, really excited for this load up because these these are watches that I think aren't getting a lot of videos. I'm, I'm sure there's videos on them, but I try to pick watches that are not the ordinary ones that everyone's gravitating towards. I like to show you guys different options. And Trifecta has them um, here because they're authorized dealer for so many great brands. So uh, full video on these as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and link in the description.